Tactical Rock and Roll, I'm just going to go over a few different AR-15 ideas and variations. Uh, the AR-15 platform is an excellent platform, uh, very easy to customize, very easy to build. Uh, people with very little knowledge of gunsmithing can um, actually just obtain a lower receiver, which is this section right here, and just build it and customize it as they as they want. So starting with this option right here, I haven't done too much to it. Uh, I put a quad rail system on it, uh, then with foregrip. Foregrip has a light and a laser. Um, if you can see here, laser, see right here, the laser button uh, and the light. The light switches between a regular light and a strobe, and that's the laser right there. Some I picked up at a gun show, playing with different options, trying to figure out um, what I like best. And obviously, um, they're going to be different systems for different scenarios and situations. Uh, and the nice thing about the AR-15 platform, it's really easy to just uh, switch to different options. And I'll go through a few other options with you here. So these two pins, basically you can knock them out from the other side right here. So you can see I've started. So we're just going to pull these two pins out. And we can separate the lower and upper receivers. This is a Bushmaster 223 uh, 556 lower. Um, actually, this upper is from a Stag Arms uh, lower that I have. I just want to start with this one. So this is pretty much your basic, basic setup right here. So we'll go from this, this upper, and put a quad rail system on this. Uh, this is a little bit of a different foregrip. Here, here, here. Many options. I wouldn't recommend putting my finger in there. But you can hold it in many different ways. This one does have a uh, finger rest right there. Um, that's, a, that's actually how I hold it. It feels really comfortable for me. So this is a Sightmark optics setup uh, right here that I'm running with a five times magnifier and a Sightmark red dot. The red dot also does have a laser on it. Uh, pick this up at a gun show as well. So these Sightmark optics also have quick release on the side so you can take them off, take off one or both if you don't want the magnifier and just want to run the red dot. You can pull this off, leave that there, even pull that back if you need to. Uh, so a uh, pretty neat little option and setup. Um, I have been playing with this one, uh, trying to get that sided in. Just a nice cost effective option right there. And we can jump to the next option. So here's another option for the AR platform. This is a Wyndham Weaponry 7.62 um, upper. So essentially all you need to do is buy the upper and put it on the AR-15 platform. You can run it straight off the same lower receiver. The only tricky thing I will warn you is you do need to buy a 7.62 AR mag that will fit the AR platform and hold the 7.62 rounds. So you cannot run the same 223 mags unless you can. I've seen people on the internet write about and blog about them. they've messed with the mags and modified the mags to hold the 7.62 rounds. But the standard AR mag will not hold the 7.62 rounds um, un untouched, unmodified. So that's the only thing about this. This will run 7.62 bullets out of the. This will run 7.62 rounds out of this upper and through the same receiver. But you do need to have uh, the special uh, mags that fit it. That's the only thing. And here I'll just drop that on real quick. So it does look just like your regular 223 or 556. <clears throat> so it does look just like your 223 or 556 AR, but as you can see, it is a 762 by 39 um, upper. So it will fire that ammunition. So this is an Anderson Arms 556 upper. This is actually a short barrel. Um, so it does have a much shorter barrel. It will give a much shorter overall length. And just to show you here, we'll drop that on real quick. That's on. 
So that's going to give it a 24 and a half inch overall length. And we'll compare that. Here, we'll compare that to the overall length of the standard 16 and a half inch barrel, which has it at 32 and a half inch. So that's quite a difference. So again, the standard length is about 32 and a half inch with the 16 and a half inch barrel. There's an Anderson arm, short barrel upper. That, again, that gives it a 24 and a half inch. Uh, that gives it a 24 and a half inch overall length, which that's an eight inch difference. That That's very significant. This makes this a much shorter weapon, as you can see, much shorter overall length. Uh, it does have a rail system on top for any type of optics you want to add. Um, I, I do like these short barrel uppers. Uh, you do have to be careful with attaching these. Uh, some jurisdictions may require special permits. So this is the DPMS. Uh, this one is seven inches. Again, so that should drop it just at 24 inches. So this is 24 inch overall length. So that's, as you can see, that's significant. That's short. So as you can see, that's drastically cut down the overall length. Much, much shorter weapon. Much easier to hold. Uh, so that's another option for the AR. There's also a few different stock option ideas out there that are pretty, pretty interesting. This is the SBX. Again, there's a stabilizing brace that you fit on and it, it actually fits around your arm to help. So, and actually when you're holding it, it would fit around your arm to help you stabilize it, especially with these shorter uh, barrel weapons that are going to see that recoil. You're going to want to be able to handle that uh, with pump, especially those 556 rounds you're pumping through there. So this SBX, you know, running on a short barrel upper platform, that's, that's a great idea right there. Uh, there's also there's a bump fire stock. That's also some stock options. Essentially, they're like spring activated that give a fully auto simulation. And you also don't need a special permit for the bump fire stocks. Um, again, I would be check your jurisdiction about the short barrels. If you need to register them uh, separately, that could depend uh, on your jurisdiction right there. So check on the, the laws for your short barrels. Arrows also have these nifty little 100 round drums that you can buy. Uh, so, 100 round drums are also nice for the AR platform. Slip that off, drop that in. Those are neat, nice to have. So, again, many different things, many different ways you can customize all the different pit pistol grips, stock, tubes, uh, anything you can think of, you can pretty much. Uh, since they're so easy to build, they're so easy to customize. So those are just a few different options and ideas that I've been playing with on the AR. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, please let me know any ideas you have, comments, questions. Uh, you can contact me at tacticalrockandroller at gmail.com. Uh, please subscribe.